In this video, we're gonna be going over what a defensive line technique is in football and the different types of techniques that you can use to determine where a defender is on the line of scrimmage on the defensive side of the ball. Let's check it out. So here we have a diagram of all the techniques that we're gonna be showing you. So I'm gonna be going over this. If you guys wanna screenshot this picture, I'm gonna move my face out of the way and you're gonna be able to take a screenshot. So go right ahead. All right, I'm back. So going over this picture, the way that we describe defensive line techniques is three different ways. So we always want to start from the center going out. Okay, so starting with the center here, we're always going to start him as the midline piece. And then we're going to work out from there to each offensive uh, lineman. Starting with head up on the center. Okay, head up on the center is going to be a zero. That's the midline part. That's where the technique line alignments start. So anything that is a head up number. So anytime a defender is head up on an offensive lineman, it is going to be an even number. So starting with zero, then going to two to the next both defenders. There's no plus, there's no minus. It's all the same on each side of the ball. So zero here, two here, four here, four head up on the tackle. And then there's also a... There's a lot of controversy about what you call a tight end. It's going to be based upon your coach and based upon the system you run um, or the system that you're within. But what we do is we call it a six. So just continue it with four and then six being head up on the tight end. Now going on the outside shoulder. So anytime you are on the outside shoulder of an offensive lineman, you are in an odd number technique, meaning you are in a one technique on the center. So starting zero. You're on the outside shoulder, you're in a one. Outside shoulder of the guard, you're in a three. Outside shoulder of a tackle, you're in a five technique. All right, and then you are, if you are on the outside of a tight end, we like to keep the, keep the same verbiage and we call it a seven technique. Some coaches call it a wide nine, um, but we like to just keep the verbiage the same. If you're outside the tight end, you're going to be in a seven technique. Now, speaking off the outside shoulder, now including the inside shoulder, what we like to do, instead of saying like 3.5, we like to just take the head up number and then put an eye in front of it. So if you are in a two eye alignment, you are in the inside shoulder of the guard. If you are in a four eye alignment, you are on the inside shoulder of the tackle. And if you are on a six eye alignment, you are on the inside shoulder of this tight end. Also included in this picture is the gap identification. So what these are, it's just the spaces between each player. So we have the techniques where the person is aligned on the, on the player. So zero tech, two I, whatever it is for the defender to line up. But these here, the space in between the defenders. So the space between the center and guard on both sides is always going to be the A gap. The space between the guard and tackle is always going to be the B gap. The space between the tackle and the tight end is always going to be the C gap. And then the gap outside of the Y or outside of the tight end is going to be the D gap. All right, so these are the gap alignments and gap identification. And these are the techniques up top. Now getting into this example here, we have a clip from Go Army Edge and we're gonna be using this as a defensive view just to see different techniques for the defensive lineman. So starting with this left defensive end, he is going to be in a five technique. He's on the outside shoulder of the tackle, which means he is going to be an odd number in a five technique. Interior lineman here, he's on the inside shoulder of the guard. So normally he would be a two if he was head up, but now he's on the inside shoulder, so it's going to be a two eye alignment. This uh, right D tackle here is going to be on the outside shoulder, so he is in a three technique. And the same technique for this right defensive end, he's going the outside shoulder of this tackle, so he's in a five technique. One thing that you can do to distinguish different techniques for the linebackers as well is you can use that same technique number system, and then all you have to do is just add a zero to it. So for this linebacker here, he's on the outside shoulder. So normally he would be in a three technique if he was a defensive lineman, but since he's, out, he's back as a linebacker, it's going to be a 30 technique. For this linebacker here, he is head up on this guard, so normally it would be a two technique if he was a defensive lineman. Now what you can do is you can call him in a 20 technique just so you can distinguish 
proper alignments for the linebackers and the defensive linemen, and they're both on the same page with what technique they're supposed to be in. For more information on defensive lineman techniques, you can check out our blog post on our website, victorysports.com. Make sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel to continue to learn more about football. I'm Danny Haddad. Thanks for watching.